I don't. I thought we were going to go back to the hotel. Where have we ended up? Where have, where have we ended up? Anybody? Anybody want to tell me where we are? Jameson's. I can make a hidden Mickey. A good story cannot be devised. It has to be distilled. Hey, folks, how are you? We're having an old-fashioned. design on that glass. The zest you smell for days. So mum's gone for the sours thing? What's it called? Jameson whiskey sour and what's your opinion do you like it? It's sour. It's sour. I agree. This, um, old fashioned, dad thought it was going to be, did you say you thought it was going to taste a bit like a Negroni? Yeah, bitter. Very bitter. That's not bitter at all. No, it's so sweet and it's because it's, well I'm guessing, it's because it's got honey in it. We need to try the Jameson's ginger and lime. Yeah. Jameson's ginger and lime. There's um so there's two bars. There's a paid for bar, and then there's another bar over there called the da called Daily Grog, and you can swap your ticket for a um, free drink. So but it's um, I think it's a taster. That's really cold. I'm gonna put it down, but it's very nice. I'm excited to go around. Oh. <laughs> Holly's gonna take that with her and drop it into the Jameson's if she doesn't like it later. I like that idea. Just take that, just walk around with just the bottle of it. Clever. Yeah, they do it bottle. Yeah, we're gonna finish these and then go on our tour. It's 2.30, so we are going on our tour. First 10 minutes of self-guided, meaning that maybe somebody will turn up and take over. Please enjoy our gallery. The tour guide will be with you shortly. John Jameson and Son Irish whiskey. God, this is massive time. On. Scan here to unlock the history. Every single thing that you're ever going to need to know about Jameson, you're going to find either inside the bottle <laughs> or on the label. Now the label, Jemison, John Jemison, was our founding father. And under his name is the family crest, as it's here on the table. Beneath the family crest are two words, Cinemetu. And Cinemetu is on every single bottle of Jemison sold worldwide. It is the family motto. But it's also the Latin for without fear. And this phrase, without fear, it actually defined John Jemison's life. And in reality, it has defined our whiskey. Ever. Now, John Jemison's name is on the label on every bottle of Jemison. But the whiskey in the bottle, its legacy is shared by many. And this is why on every bottle of Jemison, you're going to find at least one barrelman. And the barrelmen represent the workers who built this whiskey up. Now, everybody, the Bow Street Distillery where you are right now, this place was seen as a city within the city of Dublin. It was a very, very busy place full of very highly skilled craft workers. Now we have the most magnificent company archive. Records show we employ the likes of carpenters, and blacksmiths, and millwrights, and coppersmiths, even ostlers. Now the ostlers, they look after the horses. But these are just a few of the many tradespeople working here. We had a fantastic reputation. We got a job here, practically guaranteed for life. At our peak, we employed 300 people. This meant we were now supporting hundreds of families throughout the Dublin region. Now in 1880, that's a hundred years after John set up here, we were now producing a million gallons of whiskey a year. And that's the equivalent of 6.5 million bottles of Jemison. And trust me, in 1880, that was no mean feat. 
Now, just when things began to pick up again, excessive trade tariffs imposed by Britain when we left the British Empire. And of course, the impact of prohibition in America began to take their toll. Some bootleggers in America were now labeling their homemade moonshine as Irish whiskey. This way they could charge more money for it. But this had a huge negative impact on our very good name. On top of this, the Irish economy was slowing down. The Irish whiskey industry was in decline. To be honest, by the 1960s, the once all powerful Irish whiskey industry was on its knees. But this motto, Senimetu, without fear, held the key to our survival. So calling upon the spirit of John Jemison, the owners of the whiskey that had John's name on it, they said, okay, now's the time to sink or swim. And luckily enough, the two other surviving whiskey distilleries in the south of Ireland also saw the writing on the wall. So in 1966, after generations of rivalry, Jemison joined forces with John Powers on whiskey and the Cork Distilleries Company. And the Irish Distillers Group was founded. Now, but everybody, the story of Jemison is about people. It's about our whiskey makers. It's about our whiskey masters. It's about every single person worldwide who enjoys taste of Jemison. And of course, it's about our barrel men. And it's about every member of my company that keeps building on 242 years of history. And you know what? It keeps coming right back to the bottom. The name John Jemison and his motto. And even today in the 21st century, Cinemetu, without fear, is something we in Jemison on a daily basis try to live up to. So my friends, but the man been the company. Any questions, remember them when we get to the tasting. I'm only too happy to. I've never oh, seen that barrel man before. That's the barrel man he was talking yeah, about. So, yes, it, was a holiday. it would be a naughty one to start this limb. If you wish, it would be the texture, of course. A little bit of heat comes in or and of course, the tiles are sanitized. Oh, the tile. Oh, so that's how they got the. That's how they mold. That's how they made a mold. <laughs> Stick your face in it. It's hard. It's hard. I can smell it. Can you smell it? Mm. Oh, I don't have any smell on that. Let me smell it. We get people to take malted barley out and have a smell. And malted barley smells very sweet because it's full of sugar. Okay. Then they do the exact same with the unmalted barley. It looks the same, but it's very different. It actually smells like fresh and cut grass. I can't the taste problem it. was smell people would then start. There are two copper card holders and two atomizer graphic card. What I want you to do is take a card out of the card holder, then go to the atomizer on the right hand side where it says pot store. Oh, Imagine this. you're now in a department store. Checking out the aftershave to the perfect. For example, card, atomizer. I've done it. Oh, do not be shy on the spray. Oh, you are the And there is alcohol involved. Oh, 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 smell vision for oh, 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 filming it. It's a very spicy bourbon pot. One mark bourbon, one mark sherry. We're going to open the bourbon pot first, okay? Now, folks, the pot is stuck. It's, it's a rocking movement. Not a twisting, okay? And when it's open, put your nose right into it and have a smell. And what you are smelling is hours you're chewing an extra particles. And this is part of the toasted wood and the nuttiness. Lots and lots of Can you smell anything? Okay. Yeah, I can smell some cow. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Smell bourbon. Yeah, but you're done with the bourbon. Yeah. Accurate, the yes. Bourbon is smelled. It's a Christmas drink. It's a Christmas drink. It's a Christmas drink. It's a Christmas Cherry reminds me of Christmas. Where's it gone, you cry? This is the famous angel share. We lose about 2% a year to evaporation. This works out at about 35,000 bottles of Jensen. A day to evaporate. Happiest angels of Ireland. So what I want to suggest, uh, man and no, sir, no, my no, friends no, from New York, no, we'll just move no, up no, this no, way if you wouldn't mind, okay? No, Guys, would you mind just sort of moving up this way? We're going to sort of like, because every space is going to be taken, okay? So this way we're going to have room for everybody. That's, man and sir, that's perfect.
the taste. <laughs> so today, we're going to sample three members of the Jemison family. On the left-hand side is Crested by Personal Favourite. In the middle, Jemison Original. And on the right-hand side, it is Jemison Black Barrel. Okay? The only thing I'm going to ask here is that when you drink the whiskey, whether it be a little drink or a big drink, drink it and keep it in your mouth for five seconds. And then drink it on down. Okay? So my friends, we start in the middle with the Jemison. So take the Jemison. First things first, you have a smell. Now, folks, the way you smell... Now, when you put your, you literally, nose in, mouth open. Because when you open your mouth, you pull open tubes in your nose. It's a physiological thing. There we go. And guys, do this in a bar wow. or a nightclub at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Everyone will know you are a whiskey expert. <laughs> Guys, have a little drink or a big drink, but in your mouth for five seconds, then drink it on down. Jemison is incredibly smooth, triple distilled, best-selling Irish whiskey. That's great. But everything about the taste is linked to the last room. The use of the unmalted barley is what gives the whiskey wow, the creamy mouth coating on the hint of spice. The My personal favorite is irrelevant, okay? Whiskey is a very personal drink. My personal favorite is Red Breast, sorry, is, is Crested. If you talk to the guys in production, they'll say Red Breast 12 is the best whiskey this company makes, okay? Now, I should point out, Crested is the opposite of Jemison Original. This is an eight-year-old whiskey. The majority is made with malted barley, the minority unmalted. The majority is pot still whiskey, the minority column still. And barrel selection is the vast majority is matured in the ex-sherry wine cast with a small amount maturing in ex-bourbon barrels, okay? So have a smell first. Nose in, mouth open again. Oh, yeah. Now, you get the dry fruits, the figs, sultanas, and raisins. Little you get whiskey. <laughs> with a very, very good nose, a little touch of chocolate, okay? Yeah. Guys, have a drink, and again, small drink, big drink, whatever, but keep your mouth for five seconds. It's warming, pot still spices, hints of ginger, touch of chocolate, and the melon again coming through. Massive accent on, of course, the sherry notes. It's matured nearly exclusively almost in ex sherry wine cast. As I said, bang for buck, this is the best whiskey this company makes. Folks, we do not export crested in any great quantity, okay? It really is just made for the Irish market. Because some of this whiskey is actually matured in bourbon barrels that have been burned twice. The law says you gotta burn the barrel, American white oak. Why do they burn the barrel? American white oak is such a hard wood, the alcohol cannot get into the wood to take elements from the wood, okay? So they burn it with flamethrowers. This opens the wood up, okay? Plus, it's a one-time use-only deal. You cannot reuse a bourbon barrel in America. Mm -hmm. So what actually happens is the barrel makers own the barrels and they rent the barrels to the whiskey makers. So the whiskey makers make their whiskey, put it in the barrel. When it's ready, they bottle and sell it. They cannot use the barrel again. So they send the barrels back to the barrel makers. And that is when Jemison gets involved. Our guys arrive out. They then select the barrels that they're going to you know, use to mature our whiskies in, and we ship those barrels back to Ireland. Now, before they get shipped back, out of every batch, we'll take one or two barrels, and that's it. Those barrels are given back to the guys with the flamethrowers. They burn the barrels again. The second burn opens the wood up even more. It also cooks or caramelizes some of the naturally occurring sugars and other flavor points in the wood itself. So a very, very important component part of this whiskey is matured in those barrels, and that is why the whiskey is called Black Barrel. You're getting exotic fruits, mango, papaya, nectarine, star fruit. Now everybody, star fruit. You cut a star fruit in half, it looks like a star. And star fruit is like the cucumber of the fruit world. There's no smell or taste from a star fruit. But if you're doing a whiskey tasting or a wine tasting, you can say things like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, the star fruit's very much the front. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but people would agree with you. So you ask if they're drinking water. Of course, there we go. So guys, when you're drinking it, it's butterscotch, fudge, toffee, rich cream, lots and lots of caramel coming through. It's a gorgeous whiskey, very, very complex. If Crescent is my personal favorite, I'm not underneath that is Jemison Black Barrel. Folks, any final questions, actually? Wow, this one. <clears throat> oh, my friends, if I have a minute, I'm going to go back downstairs. Downstairs, the bathrooms. Bottoms up. <laughs> Holly's going to go fetch hers in a minute. Um, Mom, show me the ginger and lime thing. I've, I've turned this on the wrong way around. Talk to me about the ginger and lime. It's whiskey. 
this what? Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Yeah. And I like. And I like. I'm not its biggest fan. Mummy likes it. Dad's gone for the original meat. I've gone for original on the rocks. I just like it a bit cooler. Sort of takes the edge off. Takes the, the edge ice. off. Yeah. Hello. Hello. While we're waiting for a taxi, I just realised. I just kind of stopped. You're just checking yourself out in every video. Yeah. I just kind of stopped the um, the recording. We um, really enjoyed the whiskey, uh, the Jameson Distillery. It was really, really good. The, the guy Niall was, uh, was really good. One Direction Niall. Um, it was really good. He was really funny, really knowledgeable, really passionate about Jameson's whiskey. Um, I disagreed with his idea of what the best whiskey was, but um, oh well. I'm a novice whiskey drinker. But yeah, we are now trying to hail a taxi so that we can get back to the hotel, change our clothes and go to Folklore. Mm -hmm. Folklore. Uh, folklore Maybe dinner. Maybe as well, just keep walking. Maybe. Hailing a taxi is proving to be difficult. If taxis are there, it's fine. The, yeah, finding one is not as easy as in London. Mums notice they don't have the lights like in London, do they? No, so you don't even know if anybody's in them. Not until they've like already driven past you and by that point they've driven past you. Um, also no Uber, which is a shame, but oh well. Yeah, we... maybe we should just walk. We'll walk. I don't know how far it is. About a mile. That's not bad. Get our steps in. Cool. We've had a lot of whiskey, we'll be fine. Should we just walk? That's determined See, the to get a taxi Because it has people in it. Every, oh, is it that's okay. oh, that that one might. That, one's that one says Uber on the side. Does it? Oh, it does. But we don't have Uber here. There's no Uber. Um, who knows if we get a taxi? I'll put it in the video description. <laughs> Yes, I'd like to